Most everybody would agree that fat loss or weight loss is a good thing. But what if I were to tell you that there's another side to this, a potentially dark side to weight loss that nobody's talking about, but we should be. What I'm gonna call this is the fat loss dilemma and the importance of detox or detoxification. Now this is all according to the scientific research. I am not making any of this stuff up. Number one, we all have exposure to environmental pollutants. Period. No matter how you live your life, no matter where you live, we all have exposure and often very at a very early age, even before we're born. According to the research, it also shows us that this gets stored very often in fat or fatty tissues, things like the liver or the brain, as well as fat itself. Now what research also shows is that this slowly leaks out over time. Now that doesn't sound like much of a problem, but according to scientific research, there's something called a non-monotonic dose response curve, and that suggests that low doses are actually problematic. So not only do we have exposure from the outside, but what we do have on the inside is slowly leaking out. Now this can increase our risk for chronic disease, but this isn't the fat loss problem yet. What research has also showed is, is that these accumulate in our body over time. They take a really long time to get rid of and are very hard to excrete. They're called persistent organic pollutants, partly because of that. Now, research suggests that the older we are, the more it accumulates, the more that we have, as well as if we're a little bit fatter than that, they tend to have more of these as well. Now, here comes the real problem is that let's say you gain 20 or 30 pounds, you're 40 or 50 years old, and you've been accumulating all these your whole life, and then you decide you wanna lose weight. Well, what happens according to the research is, is if you lower your calories, if you fast, if you diet, those things go up in your blood, period. And every single study that's ever been published, xenobiotics, environmental pollutants, go up when you diet. And the fatter you are and the older you are, the more there's going to be. Now, short term, research has shown that this actually slows down your metabolism while you're losing weight. It slows down your resting metabolic rate, it slows down your ability to burn fat and muscle, and it slows down things like thyroid hormone, which is associated with metabolism. The other problem is, is this major dump of xenobiotics that come out is also associated with a chronic uh, risk of chronic disease. In fact, some research has shown that midlife weight loss is associated with an increased risk of dementia, cardiovascular disease, and even all-cause mortality, and researchers, researchers suggest that everything on the page here might be part of the problem. So here's two potential solutions, also according to the literature. Number one, most detoxification programs, I will tell you, are ridiculous, they're a waste of money, they don't work, they're not detoxifying anything. But in the research, People have shown ways of increasing excretion of stored xenobiotics. And they even say that it reduces the half-life of these things inside of our body. So if you do this one or two times a year for your life, you can potentially decrease the accumulation that's going to happen as you age. The other possible solution is to support detoxification and excretion while you're doing a weight loss program. Not only will this make it safer for you, but it also might make it more effective. This is why we have a brand new workshop called the Fat Loss Dilemma and the Importance of Detox. It's a 90 minute program that covers all of this information and more, shows you all the scientific literature research papers that have been done on this topic and gives you some ideas and some solutions that you can use in order to make weight loss safer and possibly more effective as well. Thank you so much and I hope to see you there.